no, you but as you know, I have seven wives. So, yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. This is a WCBI First Alert Severe Weather Update. Good afternoon, friends. I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. We have a tornado warning now for the WCBI viewing area. This goes until 345. We've zoomed on in. Here's Belmont, Southern Tishomingo County, Northern Itawamba County, and far southeastern parts of Prentice County. And uh, that is going to go until 345 here. So let me just reset the situation. Uh, southeast of Boonville, north of Fulton, southwest of Belmont. That's what we're talking about right now until 345. So this is Doppler radar indicated rotation. We'll come on in and show you exactly what we're talking about. It is going to be this area that we are most concerned about right here. Uh, this is southwest of Belmont, west of Red Bay, Alabama. Doppler radar indicated it is moving east at about 20 miles per hour. And uh, we'll go ahead and do a little cell track on this at about 20 miles per hour and uh, plot some of these communities here. So Golden by 346, Red Bay by 352. So you see the general gist here. And uh, that's the circulation as it continues to move east at uh, about 20 miles per hour. There could also be some quarter size hail with this particular storm cell as well. We'll go in and look at the hail threat. We don't really see it at this point, can't rule it out. We've had a lot of hail storms around our region today. Uh, but this is a Doppler radar indicated tornado warning now, and we will stay on the air until this warning is expired or until the storm crosses the state line. Once it crosses the state line, that will move into the Huntsville television market. But for us, we will concentrate on this area uh, from Belmont down to the southwest and come on in a little bit tighter and we'll plot some of these roads for you here. So uh, New Bethel, just to your south, County Road 6 in Southern Tishomingo. And this is Highway 25 right here. And just to the west of 25, near and just east of Sandy Springs, that's where we have the most intense activity, rain, maybe some thunder and lightning, and that Doppler radar indicated spin at this time. We're not getting uh, any uh, really strong signatures on some of our products. However, it's still spitting out this BTI value of 4.8, and that's in the middle category of rotation that we look for when we talk about Doppler radar thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings, uh, that kind of stuff here. So again, there is some rotation with this storm. Hail size is picking up on some smaller size uh, potential there. So uh, not guaranteed, but the rotation is right here. We'll come back in a little bit tighter. And uh, there it is. It is just to the southwest of Golden. And this is probably uh, about five, six miles southwest of Belmont right now, that rotation center right here. It looks like it's really ramping on up here uh, in northern parts of Itawamba, right along 25. So these areas from uh, Ryan uh, Salem Road to 25 up towards New Bethel, south of Belmont, right here. This is the most intense uh, rotation we have being detected by radar. We'll come on in and look at our shear rate product and that uh, cleans things up just a little bit. And we are plotting uh, some of that color right here around Moore's Mill, just to your east there, uh, east of the Ten Tom Waterway at this point. So uh, again, this is just Doppler radar indicated right now. We will continue to uh, watch this whole situation. It's spun up pretty fast over the last few minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and put a little lapse on this. And you can see how quickly this uh, really came to be. It's lifting quickly to the northeast. And the last little scan right there, you almost see a little bit of an appendage right there. And those are the kind of things that we tend to look for when we are dealing with some of these uh, rotating storms. Now, this one is not as robust as some of the others in the region. Alabama right now is getting lit up like crazy with uh, severe weather and tornado warnings. But right here along 25 and uh, areas east of Ryan Salem Road, these locations right there, uh, this is where we have the best signature as far as rotation on radar. Uh, Trevor, you've been watching this too. Have you seen anything different? Uh, no, I'm definitely agreeing with you. We have that storm that is, is strengthening. It is continuing to show some pretty good signs of rotation and it, it almost appears that this has crossed now. So this is the county line. Here's Itawamba County. Here's Tishomingo County and it's almost kind of straddling up that county line. So Belmont and Golden are along Highway 25. You're going to be next in line for that. And Keith, in just a moment, I'll send things back to you for a look at that. But I want to show a big picture really fast 
uh, because we already have folks asking, why are you not talking about Starkville? Why are you not talking about Columbus? It's because there's nothing going on there right now. Uh, we do continue to have a high risk for severe weather out here today. But as of right now, that is our only red box that you see there. That's our only tornado warning is for portions of Prentice, Itawamba and Tishomingo counties. There are some storms down here in the Golden Triangle, but none of them are at severe limits right now. The second they are, we will let you know. Uh, but I don't want you to think we're forgetting about you. I don't want you to think we're ignoring you. Uh, but our focus is going to go to where there is a tornado threat immediately. And while everybody has the ingredients for tornadoes today, it appears that the only imminent threat of a tornado right now is up in northern Itawamba County, just getting ready to cross into Tishomingo County. So I'll switch this over and that that little spinning circle you see there, that's just the radar saying that, yeah, there's something spinning up there. So I'm going to turn that off just so you can see it maybe a little bit better. And where you see those greens and even some darker reds there, that's going to be right along County Road 864 and County Road 5 coming into the New Bethel community. Eventually, this is going to come pretty close to Belmont and Golden in southern Tishomingo County. So if you're up in that direction, now is the time to be in your tornado safe place. Um, I'm almost uh, you know, safe to say that this is going to be now an issue for Tishomingo County. I think Prentice County at this point, you're OK. We've got a lot of folks watching up there. This tornado warning does not include Jumper Town. It does not include Boonville. Uh, but I think now the area of circulation is now out of Prentice County and it is going to continue to move out of Prentice County. But next in line for this is going to be Belmont and Golden as this moves off to the northeast. Back on that, okay. uh, for Golden here, yeah. 345 Red Bay, about 353. So uh, it looks like it is straddling that line, as you just mentioned right. there. So uh, we'll continue to watch it. This is Doppler radar indicated. It's not confirmed at this point. I've been looking at our correlation coefficient. And typically, we will use this to pick up tornado debris. Uh, this is not debris right here. This is not debris. It looks like it could be. That's in our possible debris color scheme, but this really needs to be embedded in this red. So it doesn't look like we have anything confirmed at this point. So we will uh, watch that from a weather perspective and also notice how it doesn't really uh, plot where we have the imagery. So that is not actual debris. Uh, it's some other artifacts with the uh, particular product there. So uh, again, if you're in Golden, Belmont, Red Bay, Alabama, these areas uh, run along the Itawamba Tishomingo County line and points east. We'll tighten this view up just a little bit to plot some of these roads again. Uh, these are the locations that will be affected um, right along Highway 25 and up here in southern parts of Tishomingo. There's County Road 864 near Golden. And it seems like over the last couple of years, we've had numerous circulations move through this general area. We've had some confirmed tornadoes over the last couple of years right here in Belmont, Golden. Um, New Bethel, these areas, southern Tishomingo County. So you are old pros here when it comes to tornado warnings and these kind of circulations. But this is the only worn storm right now in our area. And it is looking like it's trying to uh, 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 circle around the, the actual broad uh, mesocyclone here in the atmosphere and come back around on the southwestern side of it. So we've got some inflow here. And uh, it looks like we probably have the inflow like this, and it's trying to wrap around in that. And uh, that is the rotation we will continue to watch here. So from a velocity perspective, it does look pretty good. We have the red and green uh, together right there. And essentially what this means is that we have uh, the green flowing towards the radar site in Monroe County and this red going away. So there is some rotation ongoing here. And we are looking several thousand feet uh, in the atmosphere. And, uh, you know, this is some decent rotation, but the question is, Trevor, is it actually reaching the ground? And at this point, uh, most likely not, but we just can't tell. Yeah, very hard to tell. And uh, on a day like today, you almost want to treat it as if it is, because as Keith was saying, what we're seeing here is above the ground. The radar sends out a beam and it's looking, you know, 500 to 1,000 feet up in the air. And it's hard for us to tell what's happening at the ground. But with that rotation that Keith was talking about, that's in the cloud. The question is, can it make it to the ground? And on a day like today, with all those ingredients in place, it certainly could. Um, I wanted to show you this. The BTI number on this, our Barron Tornado Index, is a 6.3, and that's up just a little bit. And what that is, it's a scale from 1 to 10 of the likelihood of this being a tornado on the ground. Right now, it's a 6, so that's in a possible category. 
if that gets any higher, uh, that's something we could really start to pay attention to. But really anything over three or four, uh, we really start to take a closer look at because that is something that the radar is basically just telling us something is spinning around up there. Uh, and I'm going to get some of this junk off the screen here. Uh, and then, Keith, I can send things back to you here in just a little bit. But it's going to be right along State Highway 25 along the Itawamba and Tishomingo County lines, uh, eventually going to make it toward Golden and Belmont, and then eventually it'll make it into West Alabama. And I do want to let you know, uh, when it crosses into West Alabama toward Red Bay, it is out of our coverage area. That's going to go to the Huntsville television stations. So if you're in that area and you happen to watch us on antenna, we're not leaving you. Uh, it's just because once it passes into Alabama, it's not our responsibility anymore. Uh, so that's going to go to the Huntsville TV stations. Uh, but until it crosses into Alabama, we are going to continue to keep an eye on it again between Belmont, Golden and Red Bay. That's kind of where this thing is going. And Keith, as you've got pulled up, you can always stay informed and pass along info to us on social media. Right, right now until we actually get some ground truth of what's been going on out there. We're really flying blind here. So stay connected with us on social media. Uh, Haley Fitzpatrick, our new meteorologist, is sitting over uh, off camera and she is uh, monitoring our social feeds on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course our uh, email address there, weather at WCBI.com. So we will keep you updated um, as best we can, but we need some ground, ground truth if you live up here. And backing out just a little bit, we've got the ongoing warning here in our area, but there's one, two, three, four tornado warnings still active in central Alabama. Uh, this has been really active just to our east and southeast uh, so far today. We've dodged that. So it could be a lot worse here locally here, folks. This is the first tornado warning we've had locally. Uh, yes, we've had some hail in West Alabama, but uh, as far as the tornado potential in the WCBI viewing area, uh, it is essentially limited thus far to just this one storm. Now, uh, that is probably going to change. We have another wave of storms that will come on in here late this afternoon and this evening. So between now and uh, let's just say midnight, maybe one o'clock, uh, we are all game for severe weather. So if you're not getting storms right now, if it's sunny at your location, uh, you are still in the severe weather risk. All right, let's come back in a little bit closer to the home and talk about why we are still on the air. We have this tornado warning that continues for uh, northern Itawamba, southern uh, Tishomingo. This goes until 345. Uh, we just got the uh, updated statement from uh, the National Weather Service in Memphis. It's still moving east at uh, about 20 miles per hour. This is just some uh, a rotation that is being detected. There is that rotation right there south of Golden. So it's straddling that line right there. And we'll clean up that product just a little bit. You can almost see it maybe punching more so into southern Tishomingo, as Trevor was mentioning just a uh, split second ago. So uh, the warning for Prentice County, you're out of this warning now. So if you're in Prentice, you don't have to worry about it. It's this rotation being detected near Belmont and Golden. And as we just mentioned, this is several thousand feet uh, in the atmosphere, folks. And this is about... Um, 23, 2,500 feet above the surface uh, that we're looking at. So not necessarily at ground level, but we are looking uh, high um, in the, uh, the atmosphere here. I'm just looking at some other products off camera, so apologize for that. But uh, this area of rotation is near Belmont and Golden. Just to be on the safe side, your basement, your storm shelter, interior rooms away from windows. Uh, there could be some gusty wind in this. Let's go to our standard velocity product. And it doesn't look like we're cranking out um, terribly strong wind here, but there could be some uh, wind damage and also uh, still that potential uh, hail threat that uh, could still occur in some of this, but uh, some of our products not really depicting that at this point. So it looks like this is still uh, this ongoing broad uh, type rotation, but just tight enough to uh, produce this tornado warning. And uh, Trevor, go ahead and look at the Weather Service Office in uh, Huntsville and see what they're thinking as this is getting ready to cross the state line uh, just a couple of minutes away. So uh, right now it doesn't, we don't have a warning for Northwest Alabama. Uh, that could happen, we'll keep watching it, but it's this area of rotation near Belmont and Golden. And uh, this is the uh, worst part of the storm at this point as far as rotation is concerned and we'll show you that with our uh, shear rate product and it is in this general area ridge road highway 25 county road 864 and uh, these areas really near belmont and golden right along 25 too so this is all shifting east at about 20 miles per hour relatively slow in 
uh, the gist of things today, but it's still moving along. And there's our rotation, and we will do another quick storm track on this. And uh, Trevor, just chime on in if you uh, discover any new info from uh, Huntsville. Hey, nothing quite yet, but I'll be keeping on. Okay, so we are uh, basically looking at the storm over Golden right now. Let me plot a couple of additional uh, communities here that did not uh, plot on this particular map. And uh, for reference here, this is moving uh, quickly into northwestern Alabama. And this will move to these communities of Pleasant Sight by 403 and Seven Pines by 358, so maybe a little bit faster. And these areas generally just north of Red Bay, Alabama. So it's about ready to cross the state line. It's over Golden now, Belmont, Golden. Hopefully you're battening down the hatches here as it comes on through. And it's 335 now, so just another 10 minutes for this tornado warning here in the state of Mississippi. Uh, the National Weather Service in Memphis, their boundary is the state line, so we will not get a new warning issued uh, for Mississippi. We are going to wait for Alabama, but as we just mentioned, that is not the uh, WCBI viewing area. So uh, we will continue to watch that whole situation up there. Just to reset the situation, we've got ongoing showers and storms here down across the Golden Triangle area. It is wet in the Columbus area. We've had rain a little bit dry now. South of Macon, some rain southeast of Starkville, Ackerman. Uh, these are not necessarily uh, too terribly strong. We'll pop on our velocity. We don't see any necessary, uh, necessarily tight rotation right now, so there's no imminent concerns at this point in uh, the southern parts of the area. As we pop back on the lightning, uh, there's a little bit of cloud to ground lightning in this, but not a lot. We usually look at the lightning to pulse up. If we get more lightning strikes, cloud to ground strikes, those storms tend to be strengthening a little bit. But the fact that we don't have a lot of lightning right now, that's a good situation for us farther south. And uh, just to uh, set the situation up a little bit more here with our SkyCam network before we go back up to the north, we'll just show you the lay of the land here. We have a mix of sun and clouds, low clouds there, looking pretty ugly there in Louisville at this time. So uh, Vernon, Tupelo, Columbus, Louisville right here. We've got temperatures in the upper 70s, low 70s, and even some low 80s around here. Let's go over to Louisville, Mississippi, though, and you can just see some of these low clouds. Uh, it looks pretty ugly. The cloud bases are relatively low, and uh, a lot of those are spooky-looking clouds, but at this point, we aren't looking at anything imminent on radar as far as the activity near Louisville, Starkville, or Columbus. So we'll go back up north real quick and investigate this warning and see how it's playing out. And we still have some squirrely-looking signatures on radar. And we still have this area of rotation just passing through the Golden Area right now, moving over into West Alabama. So uh, it doesn't look like we have any new uh, statements uh, that we know of from the National Weather Service in uh, Memphis. And we'll see uh, nothing new from Huntsville either. So uh, at this point, it's a, it's a mystery, but it looks like, Trevor, this thing will be quickly moving out of our area. And then we can regroup and probably wait for that evening wave of storms. Yeah, we've got about maybe two miles, a mile and a half that's actually just updated and it is going to be into Alabama, uh, maybe a mile left before it crosses the state line. As we've been mentioning, that's when it uh, turns over responsibility out of our hands into the folks over in Huntsville. Uh, but this is right along Red Bay Road. This is State Route 366 that runs over into Alabama toward Red Bay. That little red dot there, that's our area of rotation. And it's just going to kind of follow that northeasterly trajectory. So if you live along Red Bay Road near the intersection of County Road 84, uh, that's where it looks like this thing is headed. And then eventually it is going to cross over into the northwestern corner of Marion County and be out of our hands. But just because that tornado warning, it looks to be wrapping up, at least on our front, it doesn't mean our day is over. Again, like Keith mentioned, we've got some storms down there in Choctaw County and Winston County. Uh, but let me show you what's going on down to our south really quickly. We've got more storms popping up down near Yazoo City, Vicksburg, and then we've got that big line of storms that's going to come in later tonight. So uh, this is probably not going to be our only warning of the day. Unfortunately, it looks like more of these storms could rotate as time goes on. 
Uh, so you've got to remain weather aware now until midnight uh, because what's happening right now in Tishomingo County could become more widespread in our area, especially as we get closer to sunset and maybe just a little bit after sunset. Uh, so I want to reiterate, there is no other tornado warning in our area uh, except for Tishomingo and Itawamba County. There is a tornado watch in effect, uh, which means, you know, watch out. It's possible, but I want to remind you, if you do go under a tornado warning today, the best place to be for that is a tornado shelter or a basement. If you don't have that, go to the interior portion of your home in a bathroom or a closet. Where you do not want to be is in a manufactured home, a mobile home, or driving. If you do happen to find yourself driving, don't park under a highway overpass. Find a more substantial shelter to stop in. But we're going to be keeping an eye on the weather here, at least for uh, what appears to be the next six or seven hours, Keith. Right. It's going to be a long evening, so many uh, storms to come on through. So if you are in the WCBI viewing area, if you have not had a storm yet, uh, you are still in play for some strong to severe storms. The warning is going to be allowed to expire at 345. We have no inclination that there's going to be a new warning for parts of northwestern Alabama, but this whole complex is moving away from our area. So what we're going to do right now as the storm gets ready to leave our area, we are just going to uh, allow things to uh, evolve and in a couple of minutes duck out. You can see the National Weather Service in Huntsville just issued a uh, new tornado warning for that cell as it is now beginning to transition into northwestern Alabama. And that is going to go for these areas just to the east and north of uh, Red Bay, Alabama. That goes until 415. So this warning uh, goes for uh, Colbert and Franklin counties in Alabama until 415. But again, that is moving away from the WCBI viewing area. And if you know anybody up here from uh, just north of Red Bay, uh, this is where the circulation is moving at this time. So we will uh, continue to watch this uh, as it uh, moves away. Uh, but we're going to duck out of programming here in just a split second. So just a heads up to our folks back in the control room and in mass control. I'm going to send it back to you in just a few minutes. And uh, we'll go back to our regular programming and we will just continue to monitor behind the scenes what goes on back to the west. But this circulation is near Red Bay. It's been near Golden and Belmont and it will continue moving east northeast away from our area. So here's Red Bay, Alabama, County Road 11 over here, County Road um, 25 downstream, areas east of Golden, north of Red Bay, Alabama. That's where the worst of the weather is at this point and it is moving out of our coverage area. But again, every storm today, every shower is going to have to be watched closely. We have more lightning being detected back down to the southwest in Starkville and uh, near Ackerman. So all of this bears watching as we go throughout the course of the afternoon. So with that, I'm going to wrap things up here as the storm is pulling away from the WCBI viewing area. But uh, I caution you, if you are watching us right now, if you know anybody around our area right now, uh, we still have a good uh, seven, eight hours of potential severe weather here locally. So with that, we'll go back to programming and we'll come back on and stay on if we have more tornado warnings. If we don't have any more tornado warnings, we'll see you on WCBI News at 5. This has been a WCBI First Alert Severe Weather Update. Stay connected with the First Alert team online at WCBI.com, on social media, and on your mobile device with the WCBI News app. Open Vegas, Sir's open. Enamel over time. Pronamel Mineral Boost for... This is a WCBI First Alert Severe Weather Update. Good evening, everybody. I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. We will stay on the air now. We have a tornado warning now for areas just south of Tupelo. We are looking south towards the storm near Okalona. This is our Alpha Insurance camera in downtown Tupelo, but let's go on in and show you exactly what we're talking about. This thing is right near Okalona. So uh, this warning is going to go until 630. I'll pop back on the radar and you can see this right here. We just had a report of a wall cloud uh, near Okalona and it looks like this thing is trying to spin up just a little bit right along and west of Highway 45 alternate right along Old 45 there near Okalona. So this is a dangerous situation. Doppler radar indicated it is moving to the northeast at about 45 miles per hour. So uh, this looks like it's going to be a, a serious type situation. There's our velocity right here. You can see that green and red. I'm going to turn some of this stuff off. So 
uh, we will uh, expect to see this rotation to maybe tighten up just a little bit more. But right now, it's just Doppler radar indicated, and we will continue to monitor this rotation, which is in and around the Okalona area. So if you're in Okalona and point south right along Highway um, 45, the old 45 or County Road 149, uh, this thing is lifting northeast at about 45 miles per hour. So I'm going to do a quick storm track on that so we can get our bearings. Now, at this point, it looks like it will probably stay just southeast of downtown Tupelo, uh, but we will go ahead and uh, put this cell track in place uh, northeast at about 45 miles per hour. So downstream, you can see our uh, cities here that we are are plotting, and that would include Shannon, 613, uh, Fulton, if it does hold together by 637. So these areas between Okalona, Fulton, Mantachi, Plannersville, just southeast of downtown Tupelo. So this warning does not include uh, downtown Tupelo, where we just had that big hailstorm, but now this rotation is near Okalona, and this uh, warning does include these areas for Shannon, Okalona, and points east towards Plannersville as we go throughout the next 30 minutes. So let's go back to our Alpha Insurance camera in downtown Tupelo. We can look uh, to the south and we have that darkening right here on the southern horizon. Uh, this is our view from uh, Fair Park and uh, you can see there's a little bit of daylight right here, but the storm of interest is coming towards our camera and it's likely going to move just to the southeast of our field of view here as we go throughout the next 30 minutes or so. So. Uh, again, developing weather situation here across North Mississippi. If you were expecting to see WCBI news at 6 o'clock, our new staff is around. We may do a segment of the show depending on how this warning goes, but uh, the warning does go until 630, so we will stay with this until 630 tonight and uh, just keep you updated on the weather situation. So this was at one point a severe thunderstorm warning. Now it's a tornado warning. This is the only warning we have in our uh, immediate area, although we just have a newly issued severe thunderstorm warning until 7 o'clock for the storm cell that is uh, moving towards Kosciuszko and Carthage. This warning does now include Louisville and Ackerman. Wind gusts may be 60 miles per hour with this. As it lifts back to the northeast, we've had some wind gusts between 50 and 60 between Jackson, Greenville, and Natchez. So that's going to be the final wave kicking on through here. It's actually moving a little bit faster. So we'll be watching that. Let's come back on in and talk about this warning again. Okalona, Shannon, you are under the gun here. Our tornado warning will continue. It's uh, trying to wrap on up just south of downtown Okalona at this time. So please be extra careful if you live in any of these locations just south of Okalona. I was just up there uh, a couple of days ago and it's wide open territory here. You can really get a good view of whatever is happening. This is one of the, the best places to view storms in our area. You know how hilly and wooded our locations are around here. Uh, but out here in the open prairie, as we say, right along 45 alternate, you can really see a lot, especially on the highway bridge that is along Highway 45 alternate. You go up on that uh, little elevated part there south of Okalona, you can see uh, a pretty good view here. So hopefully we have some good eyes on this and uh, we will continue to uh, monitor if there's going to be a touchdown or something like that in our area. So we are here on television talking about things. Uh, Trevor, we also have uh, various other ways that we are providing information tonight. Yeah, Keith, I first want to welcome in our radio audience. If you've been listening on the Cumulus radio stations and we have interrupted, you're listening to WCBI tornado warning coverage. We are tracking a tornado worn storm up in portions of Chickasaw, Monroe, uh, Lee, and Itawamba counties. We'll get back to that radar in just a moment. But if you do happen to lose power, we are now live streaming on these stations, Nash 94.9, Q1031, 99.9 The Fox, 1071 The Refuge down in Winston County, 12.30 AM CBS Sports Radio, and also Mix 106.1. So uh, that's just one of the ways you can also listen to our coverage if you do happen to lose power, Keith. But uh, again, that storm just to the south of Oklahoma, the tornado warning going to go. Uh, it is going to be in effect for, uh, let's see, Chickasaw, Itawamba, Lee, and Monroe counties, and it's going to be pretty close to Oklahoma moving off to the northeast. So it looks like this is going to stay south of Tupelo, but still could be a threat for those folks in northwestern Monroe County. Right, and if nothing else, these storms today are producing a lot of rain. So uh, the rotation is pretty localized, but rain is going to be a concern. 
And uh, I want to go on in and show our uh, correlation coefficient here. So this is our debris detector. Uh, we would expect to see some of this blue in this red if we're going to see an actual touchdown. Uh, right now we don't see it at this point. So we will uh, keep watching that as we go throughout the next couple of minutes here. But uh, there looks to be some uh, rotation tightening up with this. We can see uh, from radar perspective, this is how it works. We have the different colors, red and green. So we have green right here flowing towards the radar site, red going away. So there's definite spin there south of the city of Oklahoma. And uh, that is why we have this tornado warning that has been issued again, as you just mentioned, until 630. So because of that, we will stay on the air and uh, deal with the uh, ongoing situation. It looks like it is about ready to uh, slip out of Chickasaw County and get into uh, parts of uh, northwestern Monroe County. So here's the, the bigger view. Uh, this is going to stay northwest of Aberdeen, probably northwest of Amory, uh, probably northwest of Smithville. But um, for you in Oklahoma, the worst is probably pulling away right now. And uh, Shannon, you are in the thick of the precipitation shield. The downstream here along 45 and Highway 6, Highway 371 here. So let's just call out a couple of roads just to get you uh, organized and uh, uh, get your bearings, if you will. So here's Highway 41 east of Oklahoma. Again, 45. This is 45 alternate. So these areas along McAllister Road 2, maybe downstream Central Grove Road, between 45 and Highway 6 in northwestern Monroe County. If you know anybody up here, just let them know that there is a tornado worn storm and it could produce a tornado at any given time. The environment today is saturated. We have a lot of wind energy. It's very unstable. We've had numerous tornadoes and warnings across the entire region, Mississippi and Alabama. For our immediate area, we've really dodged the bullet here overall we've had uh, very limited rotating storms that have actually prompted warnings but we've had some large hail we had some uh, half dollar size hail not too long ago northwest of downtown Tupelo and now we have this tornado worn storm uh, kicking on up here across uh, northwestern Monroe County so it's still moving to the northeast at about 45 miles per hour and we'll come back in and do another quick storm track if you were just tuning on in I'm Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson. We've got the whole weather team here today. This is uh, WCBI News at 6, but we are doing severe weather coverage because of this tornado warning. And this warning does go until 630, and it looks like we still have that speed at about 45 miles per hour uh, to the northeast. And the rotation is now south of Oklahoma. And let's track this out just a little bit. So if it does continue to move on this general path, I may pop on another couple of cities here. Uh, definitely it is going to be moving towards uh, Central Grove by 614, perhaps Nettleton by 619. Downstream, the Carolina community, 628. Uh, that is in southern uh, uh, Itawamba County. And eventually, if it does hold together, it could get up towards Fulton too. So we're going to be watching these areas downstream. It looks like it's pulling away from Oklahoma, pulling out of Chickasaw. And it looks like it's going to be affecting northwestern Monroe County here as we go throughout the next few minutes. Let's go back to our Alpha Insurance camera in downtown Tupelo. We are looking south at that storm cell. And we are now, from this view, we are being shielded from the view of the actual rotation. We have so much juice in the atmosphere today. Uh, there's a lot of rain and there could be some hail mixed on in with this storm cell out ahead of it. The rotation would be behind this. So for you in Tupelo right now, I think we're in fairly good shape, uh, but we're beginning to see this uh, circulation tighten up just a little bit more. Uh, Trevor, you got that popped up on your screen. Uh, just go into a little bit more on what you see. Yeah, Keith, it's certainly looking like it's trying to wrap up just a little bit. And I do want to mention too, this is really the only game right now in terms of a tornado potential. So if you're watching in Starkville, Columbus, down to the south, there is a threat of tornadoes through midnight, but right now this is the only one that we are extremely concerned about. So these are the folks we want in their safe place. What I'm showing you right now is our wind product. So you're not looking at the rain, you're looking at the wind. And where you see those green colors, that's going toward the radar site. Reds are going away. So wherever you see them kind of close together like that, 
that is an area that has some spinning. Now, uh, just to get your bearings straight, this here is County Line Road. So this is Chickasaw County over here. This is Monroe County over here. It looks like that rotation has now passed into Monroe County in the vicinity of Tumblin Road and White Rock Road. It's going to continue to move off to the east northeast McAllister Road, um, Highway 45 near New Wren and Waitley Road. That's kind of the direction this thing is going. And again, this tornado warning, it goes all the way up to uh, the north. That's going to include northwestern portions of Monroe County, extreme southeastern Lee County, and also a good portion of Itawamba County. So if you're in this red box here, if your town falls in that red box, this does not include Tupelo, Amory, Aberdeen. You're okay right now, but if you're in this red box from Okalona to Fulton up toward I-22, uh, we need to get you in your tornado safe place right now. Just as a reminder of where those safe places are, uh, the absolute best place to be is in a tornado shelter or a safe room or in your basement. If you don't have those, it's okay. Go to the lowest floor of the building you're currently in, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible, and stay away from windows and stay there until that warning is canceled at 630. Where you do not want to be is in a large open room like a Walmart or a warehouse or a gymnasium. You for sure do not want to be in a car or in a mobile home or driving right now. If you are listening to my voice and you're driving up in that direction, if you're driving up near Oklahoma in northwestern Monroe County along 45. Once you get past Amory, you need to pull over and find a more substantial place to go. Don't park under an overpass. Just find your local McDonald's, a gas station, somewhere you can stop at to get inside and seek shelter. Again, the area we're most concerned about is right there on the end, that little hook you see there, and that's going to kind of parallel just to the north of Amory. It looks like it's going to stay to the north and west of Smithville, and then it's going to get its way into portions of Itawamba County. Now, there also is some hail falling in this storm. There's several threats going on today. Our high risk for severe weather is not just for tornadoes. It's also for hail. It's also for wind. We had some pretty good hail up to the north and west of Tupelo earlier today. Uh, but Keith, I'll do a quick storm track on this one more time, and then I We'll send things back over to you uh, if you've got any reports, but it looks like it could be just to the north and west of Smithville by around 635. And again, this is the area of rotation that we are timing out. Uh, so what we can do is get a few more communities in here. Uh, Big B by 623, Flynn by 631, Evergreen 633, and then Abney by 639. So obviously radar can't really tell us what's going on on the ground, but if you do happen to see something, we've got several ways you can report that to us. Chief Meteorologist Keith Gibson's got more details on that. Keith. Indeed, Trevor, thank you very much. And again, Twitter at WCBI Weather, also Facebook.com slash WCBI Weather. Tag us in some pictures or send us a message, weather at WCBI.com. That's our email address. You can do that within our news app, too. Uh, so that's what you can do as far as reporting information. We love to see it. Now, Trevor was just mentioning the hail threat outside of uh, the rotation Oklahoma down towards Houston. Uh, so we still have a severe thunderstorm warning associated with the storm. You can see the hail swath as we've gone throughout the last couple of minutes and uh, about 515 530. We had a big hail storm move through uh, areas just west of downtown Tupelo. So uh, we've had a lot of hail in the region today and uh, I want to go and show a couple of pictures here if we can. Let's go over to our tablet source. Hopefully this will load. Is it going to load computer? Uh, we will hope for the best. Okay, so uh, the hailstorm that was west of Tupelo, about 5, uh, 530, uh, you can see how dark that cloud was. Look at that. That was uh, southeast of Pontotoc, uh, northeastern Chickasaw County. You can see how dark the clouds look, and that's what preceded some of that very large hail we had around here. And then earlier in Calhoun County, we had uh, a, a shelf cloud, and we've had a lot of those interesting looking uh, clouds too. You can see that right here. Uh, that comes from Stephanie. You can see that shelf cloud. The, the cooler air rushes out from the thunderstorm and will create these cool looking clouds. They are very exciting to see, but usually they will be accompanied by some very heavy rain and some gusty wind. So uh, this thing doesn't look like your classic supercell storm. Uh, we have this very weird shape to it, to be honest with you, where uh, the rotation is way down here to the south, uh, east of Oklahoma, and then way up to the north, as we just showed you there with the radar, there it is again. Uh, we have this little tail of perhaps some hail in this, heavy rainfall and thunder and lightning. I've turned the lightning off, but we've had a fair amount 
uh, of lightning. Uh, not so much right now, but a fair amount of lightning with some of these storms as we've gone throughout the course of the day. So uh, it's 611 right now. We still have this tornado warning that goes until 630. So uh, those of you from uh, Oklahoma down to Houston, you're OK with this storm as of right now. But uh, if you're watching areas from areas just west of the 10 time west of Smithville and southeast of downtown Tupelo right here uh, along 45 and old 45 and east, uh, that's where the bullseye is at this point. So we'll keep you updated on this. Uh, we have numerous other showers and storms in the region right now. So it's not just this. We have another big batch coming on in from the southwest. Now, Trevor, just looking at the information here, uh, it looks like a lot of this could actually sweep through the area before midnight when we were thinking this was going to be done. But we still have a lot of time to deal with these storms coming our way. That's right, Keith. You know, the quicker we can get this out of here, the better. You know, we were expecting this might last until one or two in the morning. This could be done for us by midnight, but we still do need to be on guard until midnight just to kind of reset the scene for you again. That is our only tornado warning right there southwest of Tupelo passing Oklahoma in northwestern Monroe County. That is the only current tornado threat. There's rain in a lot of other places. There are storms. There's wind. There's hail. But we are on the air for the tornado threat. So that's what we're going to focus on. A good rule of thumb. If we're not talking about your community, you're probably fine. We're going to focus on the folks that have the worst threat right now. So if you hear us not talking about your community, we don't forget about you. That's just our rule of thumb. A little bit of housekeeping for you. You might be seeing scrolling at the bottom of your screen that our tornado watch expires at seven. We've been telling you that the threat will go beyond that. And the Storm Prediction Center has notified us that they do plan to extend that tornado watch, at least for areas north of Highway 82. Uh, so expect that to be extended here in the next little bit. Looks like it literally just got extended. So let's see if we can get some more time on that. Uh, let's see, I don't have an official new watch yet, but do expect that watch to uh, continue to be extended. And then what we're going to be watching next here, once we get those little cells out of here, we've got that line forming down near Jackson. That too has a history of producing tornadoes, but hopefully if we're lucky, that will be just more of a rain and a wind situation, which can still be damaging, but obviously the fewer tornadoes, the better. Uh, but it's something we're still going to have to watch. Obviously, our main concern right now is that cell near Oklahoma. Uh, but these little cells out here that are just now coming in still do have the potential uh, to possibly produce tornadoes here uh, in the next several hours, at least through midnight. So just stay weather aware. Uh, I want to take you in for one more close look here. And again, I told you a few minutes ago, about the reds and the greens. The greens are going in one way. Reds are going in another. So this area of rotation here north of Central Grove, uh, that's going to be Sawyer Road, Buchanan Road coming up on State Highway 6 north and west of Big B. Uh, that is the area that we are going to continue to watch very carefully. Uh, and again, if we put a storm track on this, we can take where that is right now and move it off to the north and east. It's moving at about 35 miles an hour, so that's going to put it into Itawamba County here pretty soon. New Salem by 639, Van Buren as well. Beans Ferry by 642, and then the Tilden community in Itawamba County by about 642 as well. Um, still showing some interesting signs there, Keith, of some rotation. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it, but right now, if you're in northwestern Monroe or southern Itawamba County, you've got to be in your tornado safe place. But in other places, still plenty of hail and rain and wind uh, going on, especially up to the north in Tupelo, Keith. Right, and uh, we're going to go back to our Tupelo camera. So that storm is moving relatively fast, about 40 miles per hour, and we're beginning to see some skies lighting up here looking south. So the storm has swept on through across our uh, skyscape here. But I'm going to move our camera back to uh, the uh, left just a little bit. Let me uh, get my face back on camera here. Uh, so we're going to move this back down to the uh, east southeast and uh, the sky's a little bit darker looking that general direction. So the storm will be coming this way, but uh, you can see the, the rain way out ahead of it. Uh, the worst of the weather is staying well south of downtown Tupelo right now. So that's our sky cam and going back to our storm report situation. Yes, we've had a lot of hail here in our area and uh, we're going to go through a couple of these reports uh, near Sherman. At about 530, we had one inch diameter hail here uh, just to the uh, southwest of Saltillo around and west of Tupelo quarter to half dollar size hail near Belden and also here to the uh, north of Houston uh, down in Chickasaw County, New Holka. Uh, we had some penny and uh, smaller size hail with that first storm that moved through the Tupelo area 
And uh, now we have this one we are contending with as well. So uh, a couple of different things we have ongoing. Trevor, I think you have some new information to chime on in with. Yeah, Joey Barnes has just gotten in touch with the Monroe County EMA, and we've got some reports out of the Wren community. That is going to be right on the southern end of that storm where we're watching that rotation. They're reporting no tornado right now, at least from their eyes, but there is some spinning going on out there. Uh, so we've got storm spotters all over the place. Trained professionals are watching this. That means you don't have to be outside trying to look for this tornado. Uh, as of right now, it would appear there's not a tornado on the ground. That's certainly good news. Uh, but there's something spinning on the tail end of this storm, possibly up to the north of Central Grove now. And that's going to be coming and up near Bigby. look at the shear rate right there. Speaking of that, yeah, the shear rate. And, and I mean, right there, right where we were just talking about, Keith, just to the north and east of yeah. Central Grove, that's going to probably go to the northwest of Bigby. Uh, but then again, that's going to be an issue for southern portions of Itawamba County, Carolina, uh, you know, to the west of the Ten Tom in Itawamba County. You've got just a few minutes, so please take your tornado safe plans. Uh, but again, a report from the Monroe County EMA. There's some spinning in this storm. No confirmed tornado right now, but our news department's going to keep checking on things, and we'll let you know if we hear anything else. And it's right along Highway 6 here in northwestern Monroe County, as you just mentioned. You can see there's Buchanan Road, Central Grove, uh, just to the north of there. And uh, these locations here uh, really need to be uh, watching this closely. So heads up for you along Liberty Road, Road Old Highway 6. There's Highway 371 snaking uh, off Highway 6 right there north of Bigby. So... Uh, these locations uh, need to be uh, watching this closely. We're going to go downstream just a little bit more. Clay Hill Road and up here near the Carolina community in southern parts of Itawamba County. You also need to be uh, aware that this thing is coming your general direction. Uh, as you just mentioned, Trevor, probably staying just to the northwest of Smithville as we back things out just a little bit. But this is a pretty interesting storm. We have... A lot of wind shear in the energy in the atmosphere today, so the storms will perk and then uh, fan out as they reach higher altitudes and tap into that faster wind. So uh, you can really see that ongoing here where we have the circulation, the updraft, and then a lot of that precipitation is being pulled away from the updraft. So it's being vented out a little bit, and that's why we have these uh, uh, anvil clouds and a lot of that precip rain and or hail out ahead of that circulation. So uh, with these rotating storms, yes, we often get uh, some hail signatures. We don't necessarily see a lot of that via this particular product we have right now, uh, but uh, we have had um, a fair amount of that probably falling at some point from Houston through Oklahoma over the last hour or so as that storm got ramped on up. We've been watching this here uh, for a good hour plus. It's been um, teetering on the brink of actually producing a tornado warning, but we finally got it. Uh, but leading into it, we actually had um, some hail most likely uh, that had fallen from that storm. As uh, Trevor mentioned, we have more stuff we're watching back down to the southwest. Heads up for you in uh, Louisville, Ackerman. Uh, you are now under the severe thunderstorm warning until uh, 7 o'clock. Let's go to uh, Louisville, Mississippi with our Alpha Insurance Camera Network. We're looking west and then this is southwest right here. So the sky's beginning to darken just a little bit. Right now we're doing okay. We've had some showers and storms around, but again, we will be watching out for the potential for some 50, 60 uh, mile per hour wind gusts with this batch of storms as it rolls on through now Kosciuszko and Carthage that is going to be approaching uh, locations here Winona, Ackerman, Louisville within the next few minutes between now and seven o'clock. So there could be some uh, damaging wind with that as it um, noses its way here into uh, northeastern Mississippi. But the tornado warning is confined to these areas just to the uh, southeast of Tupelo, northwest of Amory. We'll come back in again and uh, we're still looking at a pronounced um, area of rotation and uh, there's the shear rate on it and basically what this does for you it tells you where we have the best rotating wind it doesn't guarantee a tornado it doesn't guarantee straight line wind damage but it just suggests that we have some fast moving wind in various directions and we've had this uh, plot a little bit better here than any other storm we've had locally so far today. So this is, I would say, uh, Trevor, I think you would agree, this is probably the best looking area of rotation we've had in northeastern Mississippi today. Uh, but it doesn't guarantee that this is going to produce a tornado or anything. Yeah, Keith, and like we've been saying, even for the last several days, 
the ingredients are there for tornadoes today. That does not mean we're going to get a tornado. That's why we've been talking about this high risk, high potential uh, for rotating storms. As of right at this moment, it does not appear that we have had any tornadoes in our area. There have been tornadoes to our east. There have been tornadoes to our south. There have been tornadoes to our west. They're kind of all around us. But right now, we appear to be a little lucky. We've still got a threat, though, for about six more hours. So fingers crossed that holds. Um, it's fortunate that I I'm, I'm think everyone was fairly prepared uh, because the ingredients were there. Um, you know, we've just got to find a storm that can tap into them. Right now, as we mentioned, it does not appear that this is a tornado that is causing damage that is on the ground, but there is definitely some rotation in there. And if this storm can tap into some of, more, some of those ingredients, uh, it could easily touch the ground. So that's why we're on the air. That's why we're giving you the heads up. We don't want you to be scared. We just want you to be prepared. We want you to seek shelter if you're in this area. Again, reds and greens, we've already talked about it. I'm gonna switch us to our shear rate product. And that's what Keith was just telling you about. It just kind of outlines that area on the red and green mode that shows you where the best circulation is. Uh, and that's gonna be State Highway 371 around Old Highway 5, Blake Drive, Guyton Road, uh, coming up on Lost Corner Road in the community of Carolina, uh, it looks like Dozier Road, Powell Road, Weigel Road. Now we're into southwestern Itawamba County. In just a few minutes, that's where it's going to be, up towards Cardsville. You've got to be in your tornado safe place as well. And again, let me go through those safe places with you just so you're aware. If you're in this tornado warning right now, northwestern Monroe, southern Itawamba counties, tornado shelter or a safe room, basement is your best bet. If you don't have that, we want you on the lowest floor of the building you're currently in, no upper levels. You've got to get down to the lowest floor, find an interior room like a closet or a bathroom, uh, cover your head, get a helmet, pillows, things like that, and stay in that room away from windows until the storm has passed. So again, that's what we're watching right now. Tornado warning remains in effect in this area until 630. Uh, and you know what? This thing, it's, it's trying. I'll tell you that right there, just north of Bigby coming up on Carolina. No way to tell for sure right now if it is on the ground, but that tornado warning, as I mentioned, continues for about the next seven minutes, Keith. Yeah, it looks like it's trying to uh, hang on. It's pulsing up and down. We'll keep watching it. Of course, the ingredients you mentioned all coming together today. Uh, moisture is very humid. Dew points well into the 60s and 70s. The air is very unstable. We've been warm. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s in the region today. Plenty of wind energy. You go just above the surface. The wind really starts to pick up and twist around. And we have lift. We have some upper level wind, obviously, and also a cold front and an area of low pressure coming on in. So those four things we really need to have established to produce widespread severe weather. And that is, of course, what we've had around our region today. Now, Trevor just mentioned we've been relatively lucky, and I would agree with the statement. Uh, we've had issues around Mississippi and Alabama today. And notice where the tornado reports have been thus far over the last 24 hours all around the WCBI viewing area. And starting earlier this morning in southern Mississippi and then all of the afternoon, it has just been uh, a horror show as far as severe weather and tornadoes here in uh, Alabama. Six, seven, eight tornado warnings at a time. So that's where the worst of the weather has been so far today. But we're watching all of these storms. Again, if you're expecting WCBI news at 6 o'clock, here's a quick weather update for you. Our forecast model doing an okay job with the overall situation. Uh, the rain and storms will likely continue here as we go throughout the evening hours. And now we think uh, worst case scenario, maybe it's done by 12 or 1 o'clock. But we're thinking now it could actually be done several hours sooner than that. And that would be a nice positive development as we go throughout the next uh, couple of minutes here. So uh, that's a, a quick look at your forecast. Now I'm going to show you um, the seven day real quick before we go back and analyze more storms. Again, this is WCBI News at 6. And if you just want the, uh, the quick look at where we're headed today, very warm. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy. We're down into the 50s for highs. Uh, we'll start to see a little bit more sun on Friday. Still 50s, lows in the 40s, maybe as early as tonight in some spots. Your weekend's looking pretty good. Temperatures in the 60s, fair amount of sunshine looking great. Lows in the upper 30s here. So your weekend's looking great. Overall, it's looking okay. Our next chance of rain and storms um, by and large next Tuesday into Wednesday. So 
Uh, that's a look at your forecast. Now we've uh, gotten that out of the way. And uh, Trevor, I'm going to go back over to you for another update on that uh, storm situation. Uh, yes, some good news, Keith. It looks like they are going to let that tornado warning go, as you mentioned. But uh, what we are going to do here, I think, according to the folks back there, we're just going to hold with this until okay. 630. And we'll okay. go uh, to Andy Griffith right on time gotcha. uh, when that's regularly scheduled. So we're waiting on a countdown for that. We believe okay. it's right at 630. We will let you go back. Uh, but as of right now, they're saying it's kind of losing its umph a little bit, uh, and they are going to let that tornado warning expire. A severe thunderstorm warning is going to continue, so hail and wind, and we're going to keep watching and, it because right. this thing could just spin back up, you know, basically at any time. And basically, we're going to be here all evening long. The, the shear rate is still depicting that we have some of that uh, craziness still in the atmosphere, some of that rotation. The overall um, rotation has uh, broadened out just a little bit. It's still there, so... Will we come back and do more tornado coverage here? Uh, it's a possibility here this evening. We are going to be watching all of this. Uh, three minutes? Three minutes. Okay. I thought that was three seconds, but three minutes. Okay. We're going to be filling the next three minutes before we go to Andy Griffith. So, again, the tornado warning is going to be allowed to expire here. Uh, but uh, just to reset the uh, whole situation, uh, this is the, uh, the big view across our area. So we're going to lose a tornado warning here. Uh, any one of these other storms will produce uh, very heavy rainfall. There's a lot of lightning in this, too. And uh, I think we have another uh, picture, right, Haley? Yeah, I have it on the tablet. I okay. pulled it up. It's a so lightning. We're going to um, uh, bring up this uh, thing here. Let me go to our tablet source. Haley uh, Fitzpatrick, our new meteorologist. Uh, there she is. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, I couldn't she... get the name on this, but it's out of Pontotoc County in Mississippi. It is from... Denise Horton out of Pontotoc County. It's just a really interesting lightning photo that okay. we grabbed out of that storm that is that was moving through there. So yeah, so and, you know that right there is just emblematic of what we've been dealing with here tonight. Um, you've been watching the lightning strike counter too, right? And these things are prolific lightning producers. You can see the flash right there, cloud to ground strikes, and that's why we say when there's thunderstorms in the area, uh, go indoors, protect yourself from the outside environment um, because. You don't want to be anywhere near lightning strikes, and we've had a lot of that, and we are still detecting a lot of that uh, this evening. So uh, I tell you what, Trevor, we're going to be watching radar here. It's lit up like a Christmas tree, all this color. And uh, the next thing of concern, and before we go to uh, Andy Griffith, I guess real quick, we do have to mention Kosciuszko Carthage just got through with this wave of storminess right here, but that could be producing some 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. And we can't forget about that either. Yep, and that's gonna be, I mean, I'm just looking at that, seeing those purples in there, that's gonna be a heck of a storm if it rolls through, even if it doesn't produce a tornado. So heads up Louisville, heads up Starkville, this storm is gonna be in your doorstep within the next hour or two, eventually toward Columbus. Tornadoes can't be ruled out with this, but fingers crossed, this is gonna be more of a wind-driven threat and a hail threat. But again, tornado threat continues at least for the next several hours. We're going to be here keeping a close watch on things here for the next several yeah, hours. Yeah, let's jump on down to Louisville. Uh, we can see uh, with our off insurance camera network there how the sky is starting to darken once again. Some of that rain leading out ahead of that wind. So we will likely have a burst of wind here in Louisville and Ackerman very soon. It could be between 40 and 60 miles per hour. Wind driven rain. There could be some hail with it. Uh, but the way the storm is currently structured, it looks more like a, a straight line wind situation versus a tornado situation. So a lot of stuff that we'll be watching here for the next couple of hours. 